Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got something really, really fun to share with you guys. I just received a package from Original Goat. You guys have probably heard me talk about them before. They are linked in my description. They make some of the most epic secondary market, or not but aftermarket scales you've ever seen for some of your favorite knives. Um, and this, this video was actually supposed to happen a long time ago. Um, but uh, it's, it's happening now. And the package they sent me has so much so much cool stuff, and I'm actually going to split it up into two videos. We're going to do this one today. Thank you so much to my patrons for supporting me, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. So what we have here is obviously a cold steel knife, and we obviously have some, you know, some scales, right? And you could probably guess what it is. This knife I bought, they sent scales. I put them on, and they said, hey, there might actually be an issue with the pocket clip screws. And if you find that that's the case, send it back. We'll get, it, we'll get it fixed and we'll get it good to go. Now, these scales, I want to assure everybody, they have fixed that on all of them, right? Um, but I finally have this knife back. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> I can't wait to EDC this. I, I had a, a video where I put the scales on, um, but the scales are already on, so I'm just going to show it to you. This is, oh God, I'm so happy to have this back. This is... An AD15 with titanium scales. Now, I bought this, this one in black specifically for the contrast. Here's the other thing. It actually has skiff bearings in it. Um, so, oh man, that is cool. That is such a ridiculous powerhouse of a knife. Let me show you guys these scales. They come in a few different configurations, different texture patterns, probably aluminum as well. We've got the screws over here, and I guess they probably just... I, I, oh, I've got the clip. That's why. <laughs> I was like, what happened to the clip? I've got it over here to my left. But yeah, they did fix the threads there, so that's great. Um, that is so, so cool. Now, I don't know which scales I want to put on, but they sent these extra ones. Yeah, this is one of the other patterns. So I got to show this off here real quick. Oh, and look, I'll give you guys a look at the bearings as well. Um, there's the skiff bearing kit uh, with the uh, the staggered uh, ceramic bearings there, and then you have the two steel washers, and that's for a surface uh, for those scales to ride on. Wow, that is excellent. Look at that pattern. Now, are these titanium or are they aluminum? I'm not sure. They're very, very lightweight. Um, it feels like titanium, but these are all made in the United States. Now, you can get your scales from wherever you want. There's lots of great companies out there. In fact, I've got more than one company in the description that provides uh, scales, right? Obviously, if you have your scales made um, somewhere, somewhere else besides the United States, especially China, it's going to cost a lot less, right? But if you want to buy things from the United States and at the same time you expect, you know, expert level precision when it comes to machining, honestly, I would look at Original Goat. There's a lot, there's a lot of companies, but truthfully, this is now the third knife that I have modded with Original Goat Scales and I have those videos all up on my channel. But it's not just like, oh, the cool texture pattern or whatever. It's the fitment. The fitment of these scales is always perfect. And the machining quality is always like next level. Lockout on this, completely and totally solid. This knife, you know, because of the setup, with the AD10 and the AD15 are some of the like most capable production knives on earth. Uh, and it's, it's because of like their cost to durability ratio. They've, they're a little bit on the more robust side, but not so much that it creates, you know, for a situation where you're like inconveniencing yourself or you're like over encumbering yourself. Um, especially with the AD15. Um, that is a, a good bit, I would say maybe 20% smaller and more lightweight than the 8010. The 8010 is a real beast. And when I added the tie scales to it, which by the way, I might as well show those off. That's got to be one of the craziest knives that I've ever added titanium scales to. But it just becomes such an absolute 
monster tank of a knife. These are also by Original Goat. I've loved. I, I carry this one periodically just because it's so fun. Um, but contoured titanium. That's a. That's real special. And I. I feel like I had transparent knives explain this to me. But the reason we don't see um, contoured titanium uh, as much or as often from the USA is because the machines um, that do that are so unbelievably expensive. Like, they are horrifically expensive. We just don't see it as often. We see contoured titanium from China. So, to be able to get scales like this, you know, a lot of times people will go and they'll look up the price and be like, oh my gosh, the scales cost more than a knife. Well, sometimes it takes a long time for people to understand this. There are people that go years just assuming... American knife companies just rip everybody off. Titanium is an expensive material. It is an expensive and difficult material to machine. Uh, also, it wears bits down, right? A lot. But on top of that, the machines required to contour and texture titanium, are, it's so unbelievably expensive to do this in the United States in a small shop. It just factually is ridiculously expensive. So, so you know, I get it. For a lot of people, it's kind of hard to, to justify spending an enormous amount of money on scales. Like, in some cases, you're spending more than the knife itself, right? But in this case, the thing was made in Taiwan. The knife itself was made in Taiwan. Still an expensive knife. But, oh, I mean, if you want to do this to, to your knife, if you want to add these types of materials and you want the materials to be manufactured in the United States... It's going to cost a lot of money. But the final product, the best part of it for people who are considering doing this, the final product is absurdly high quality. It's not just that they're making it, yeah, and you can put it on your knife and it'll kind of fit together and might rattle. No, it's perfect fitment. <laughs> I'm really tempted to put these on to put these on the knife. I probably will do that at some point. Not in this video, because I really I've been wanting to just EDC and carry this one. Uh, with these tie scales on it. But I'm, I'm glad that we got an opportunity to look at an alternate texture pattern here. God, that, I guess, like, triangular pyramid texture pattern is so cool. Man. <laughs> Dude, just absolute powerhouses. I'm really, I'm kind of shocked that we didn't see other companies creating aftermarket scales for these knives in particular a long time ago. I mean, the 8010 and the 8015 came out a long time ago and so it's uh, yeah it's just kind of bizarre i'm gonna have to get used to you know manipulating this one this is the 8015 used to scare me because of the way that it operated but man having bearings in there really it's wild how um how smooth it is but yeah definitely definitely an absolute powerhouse now man original goat amazing amazing stuff i'll link them down in the description remember guys the they're a small shop Okay, so if you made it this far in the video, I gotta say this. Don't scream at them because things are not, they don't have like thousands and thousands of stacks of these things lying around. They, they're, they're gonna go at a slow pace. They, they have to. It's a, it's a small batch kind of thing. So they may not have exactly what you want in stock right then and there in the moment, but they're doing a good job, I think, of trying to keep up, trying to make things that people want. There's a lot of attention on them right now. Uh, this is if this is your first time discovering them, just know like people have been aware of them for a long time and they're trying to keep up with what I would imagine is explosive demand for their products. So really cool stuff. It's worth the wait. If something that you want is not available yet, it is absolutely worth the wait. And you don't have to go with titanium either. They do aluminum and it costs a lot less. So definitely worth checking out. Thank you so much to Original Goat for sending this stuff in for me to take a look at and share with everybody. Uh, that's going to be it today, guys. Please. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.